Meantime, Tesla hosting its AI day, and Phil Abo joins us with a preview of what investors can expect, Phil. Andrew, we're not expecting them to make any kind of investor update, but there will be people who are going to try to read between the lines in terms of what Elon Musk might say during the AI Day presentation, which, by the way, doesn't start until 8 o'clock Eastern tonight. And what can we expect to come out during this discussion? Well, it's going to be very technically oriented. Remember, this is essentially a recruiting uh, exercise for Tesla. They're going to probably talk about the D1 chip, the development of the Dojo supercomputer. And because I know Becky loves this video, we will likely hear where things stand on the development of the Optimus humanoid robot. This is not Optimus. This is not a humanoid robot. This is from AI Day last year when they had a guy in a morph suit come on stage to dance around to talk about that they are working on developing a humanoid robot that will be expected to assist at the Tesla plants or in other manufacturing facilities. For Elon Musk, the thing to keep in mind is that he is using this to recruit. As I mentioned, he is using this as an opportunity to say to people, if you're interested in artificial intelligence, we're the place where you want to work. All of this comes just a couple of days before we expect to get the Q3 delivery numbers from Tesla. The expectation is that 364,000 vehicles were delivered in the third quarter. We got the uh, note earlier this week. The email came out uh, that they are making a push, as they always do, at the end of every quarter to deliver as many vehicles as possible. The full year estimate for deliveries, 1.36 million vehicles. Don't forget, the focus is going to be on that ramp and delivery, Texas and Berlin. So much of the production has focused, has shifted over to Shanghai. And that's a good thing in terms of what you want if you're a Tesla investor because of the cost of goods sold is so much lower there than it is at the Fremont plant. But that's what we're expecting tonight, Becky.